Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a beautiful week. Today I wanted to sit down and talk about my Van Cleef and Arpels pieces, very specifically the vintage Alhambra pendant and my sweet Alhambra. So I thought that it was time to sit down, give an update, like a full two year review, how they have been wearing, if I still think they're worth it. And also I wanted to show you a new jewelry piece that I just got. I am very, very consistent with the pieces that I wear, especially my stack of bracelets. And this is my diamond tennis bracelet. It's super dainty. This piece I got it from Spiritual Gloss also a few years ago. And since the day that I got it, I literally have not taken it off. So I thought that it was time to make an upgrade. And the one that I have right now is two carrots and I decided to go for something a little bit bigger and a little bit different. I think it's gonna show a little bit more on pictures and on camera. And of course, I'm gonna be able to see it a little bit more. I love their pink packaging. It's beautiful. Spiritual Gloss is based in Miami, but they do ship worldwide. Basically, I had two options. I could either go for natural diamonds because they also have this in natural diamonds or I could go for lab grown so I wanted to try the lab grown I'll explain why I ended up going for lab grown but first of all I want to show you the piece and also the box is so beautiful it's this dusty pink I'm obsessed with it and here it is this is a seven carat tennis bracelet and I decided to get it in yellow gold again for reference the one that I have right now is two carats so this is a new one and the diamonds are so sparkly it's beautiful this ring is also from spiritual glass I actually saw it on Tiffany and it was like around 8,000 and I went and asked them if they could make it like the same specs same everything and they did and also a piece that I never ever take off so I'm gonna put them together and show you side by side I'm really excited to put it on and honestly I don't think this is going to be something that I take on and off it's just something that I wear consistently I love bracelets and rings so much because it's something that you see all the time so let's put it on so pretty I love it love it love it so you can barely see the other one now you can also go for natural diamonds if you want they will have that option on the website I believe but I decided to go for lab grown diamonds first of all because for the price point you can go for a little bit of larger stones and you cannot really tell the difference I love natural diamonds too this is something that I really wanted to try out and when I saw the tennis I was like yeah this this is the piece and I do have several pieces that are lab grown diamonds and they hold up beautifully I was very excited about this one they also have a pair of earrings that I think I'm gonna end up ordering but would love to know what you guys think of the bracelet it is beautiful of course I'm gonna show B-roll of the pieces because they never show like truly on camera it's really hard to capture truly I got the setting in yellow gold so it's 14 karat yellow gold you can shower with this you can do whatever you want with this like that's the whole point for me to put it on and just not take it off it's just like part of my everyday they have several pieces if tennis bracelets are not for you and the fit is perfect I think I have mastered my size when it comes to bracelets because I've always got them a little bit too big I don't even have to fix the length it's just will stay there I'm gonna link it on the website in the description box down below alongside my ring which are like the ones that I use the most I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear them together or separately but I am over the moon it sparkles so so much and it's beautiful now when it comes to Van Cleef it's one of the most important and popular fashion houses on the jewelry industry right now and even with time it's been more and more popular I remember perfectly when I started to get into it I've always loved flowers and the Alhambra pendant reminds me a lot of flowers they have a lot of different lines that I would recommend you to venture into but I know the Alhambra is the most popular one and the one that people are usually the most interested or prone to get when you're starting into the brand if you start buying Van Cleef it's likely that you will start with this like me so owning the pieces for a while now I want to give my honest thoughts because both pieces have been wearing a little bit differently I do have a few regrets that I want to go over and hopefully help anyone that has been looking into either of these two but talking a little bit about the design I do feel like it's very well made it's very simple but you know that it's Van Cleef the thing with pendants is that they can be sometimes too simple and I think this is just perfect at least for me so I had the Alhambra on my wishes for so so long and the first one that I decided to get was this one so this is the Alhambra in the vintage size in onyx in yellow gold I'm gonna show you a little bit of close-ups and how it's been wearing and everything this is the first one that I got I got it in New York for my birthday around two years ago and this is my sweet size in the mother of pearl also yellow gold and this one I got it because I couldn't get out of my head the idea of mother of pearl instead of onyx so the reason that I went with onyx first was because I was scared of mother of pearl because a lot of people told me that it was a little bit more delicate and for sure the first piece that I got from the brand I didn't want to be something that I was going to have to constantly worry about and take it on and off when I would shower that for sure I have forgotten a few times with the other one looking back I think that was a bit of a mistake something that I usually do a little bit too late is 
I have my heart on something, let's say also Chanel. I prefer lambskin over caviar. But when I start into something, I always want to play on the safer side instead of what I really, really want. And that will only lead you to still want the original thing that you wanted. So I wanted Mother of Pearl because I really like white I wear more white than black. So I get this one. I absolutely love it. I don't regret getting it. The only thing is that I regret getting this one first and on this side and the other one. Like I would switch them if I could. But like it was weeks afterwards that I was like, oh, I still kind of want the mother of pearl. So my first tip is if you're going wanting something, doesn't matter if it's hard to care for. Doesn't matter if people tell you not to. If your heart's set on it, go with your heart and buy what you like. Not what the rest of the people tell you. I adore this piece again I don't regret it but if I was to do it over again I would have gotten the vintage size in mother of pearl and my suite in onyx so the onyx I have come to love it because of how easy it is and worry free I never have to worry about it I don't have to take it off I can shower I can do pretty much what I do with all of my other pieces and that takes a little bit of worry from me so if this is the one that you like the most I would say that you're not gonna have to worry much about it now going for my suite size I'm gonna add compression video and b-roll and all of that but the sweet size was originally made for kids that's why it's a little bit smaller it's a very dainty and beautiful piece and one of the main differences that you would find on this is that the sweet size is not fixed this means that this is going to move around the chain and the vintage one is attached so it's going to stay there. I didn't alter the length for either of them. You can always do it on the boutique because they tend to be a little bit shorter. Here it is on the longest setting and my sweet size is on the second one. I like to wear my sweet one on a shorter setting when I'm wearing them together so you can see them layered a little bit better but they're definitely on the shorter side and if you want to, when you buy them, you can ask them to extend the length of the chain. Also, mine are in yellow gold but you can get them in rose gold and in white gold these two are the most popular sizes but i have this picture that i want to show you with the four different sizes that van cleef offers so you have the vintage alhambra which is the one that i have in the onyx then you have the pure alhambra that one i don't love as much as the vintage then you have my suite and then you have the magic which is the biggest one that they offer now comparing the price point i do feel like you're paying the difference in the size of the stone of course you can see that the vintage is almost double the size of the my suite and the price point also reflects that so given that the differences between them for me is that the vintage size is more like a staple the centerpiece if you're gonna wear it and my suite is more something that you can stack it's something that you can add more things to it or you can wear it alone i wear it alone a lot all the time but price wise i do feel that the vintage one is a little bit better but that is just my personal preference i'm gonna show you a clip side by side of the chain length of both of them the vintage one is 42 centimeters or 16.5 inches and the sweet size is 40 centimeters or 15.75 inches. Now, talking about the two-year wear, how they have been holding up, my thoughts and diving into the pros and cons and all of that. The Onyx, for the most part, is impeccable. I do have to clean it often. Something that you're gonna find with these pieces is because the setting that they have, they will accumulate pretty much everything that you put on. Being moisturizer, you have to be a little bit careful with perfume, natural oils from your body. I am a fan of moisturizer that is going to be probably the one that is the most annoying to me so you have to constantly clean them also on the sides so what i have is this little brush and with the onyx it's easier because you can use water to clean it and i just brush it a little bit and it's clean but you have to clean it often it's not a piece that you can just let go for a long period of time because it does accumulate everything that you put on your body and the onyx also shows the fingerprints because it's black the contrast everything is for sure going to show on the piece so constantly cleaning it it's something that you have to do the onyx one i have showered with it i have not taken it off in like a year straight now i switch them a little bit more because i have other pieces that i also want to use but i have tanned i have gone to the beach to the snow pretty much anything that you can think of this necklace has gone through it and it's perfect i really have no complaints when it comes to the wear other than having to clean it which is quite normal so yes being said that mother of pearl is something that i like a little bit more the onyx has its pros that it's just perfect you're not gonna see the wear it's going to be consistently perfect and you don't really have to worry about it at all now with the mother of pearl i would love to say that i've been 
so good that I always take it off when I shower, but I sometimes forget, especially when I'm traveling. So it's what happens to me the most that I'm just too tired. I get to the hotel and I just get inside the shower and then I realize that I have it on. So when I realize in time, I take it off and I dry it. And if not, I realize like the day after like, oh gosh, I didn't take it off when I showered. I think it happens to us all and we have to be realistic with the pieces that we get. And I knew that this was going to happen. It's also happened to me that I get into the bathtub, which I think it's a little bit worse and I realize that I have it on again. I take it off and I dry it, but yeah, I haven't been perfect. I can see that the piece is not as shiny. It's something that it happens when you get it wet, but thankfully the part of the stone shrinking hasn't happened to me. So I've read that if you get water in contact with mother of pearl, the stone can shrink and fall apart from the setting. This has not happened. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Um, I'm trying my best to not forget, but it's something that has been annoying me a little bit. And I think it's also because I got the smaller piece that I just don't notice it as much when I have it on. So if you ask me, I would have probably gone and switched them. I would have gotten the vintage Alhambra in Mother of Pearl and my sweet size in the Onyx. I don't know why my thought process is that I would have preferred to do that. But with the Mother of Pearl, I have to be careful with lotion, with perfume and not forgetting, which is probably the worst part for me. Also because of the size, it's a little bit harder to clean. So same with the vintage size, it has the same setting. So you have to constantly clean it because it will accumulate anything that you put on your body, on your neck, etc. So my personal recommendation is invest in a little brush, but with this one, you cannot really get it wet. So it's a little bit more difficult, but yes. So I wanted to make this video putting there that I have forgotten to take off my Mother of Pearl Sweet Alhambra, not once, not twice, probably more than 10 times in the last two years. And it has lost some shine. The stone has not shrinked, thank God. But I want to put that out there, like things do happen if you do it. So if you were thinking about getting it, consider that aspect before doing it. If you are as forgetful as I am, or if you're like better with your pieces, then you will not have an issue. Do I regret getting them? No, not at all, because they are staples in my closet. I love using them. Yes, they have become so much popular now than they were back then. But of course, for the price point that Van Cleef, Cartier, that I also had issues with my love bracelet recently, it's supposed to be a piece that you don't really have to take off and you don't have to tighten. And I woke up twice with the bracelet on the bed. Thankfully, it didn't happen on the street, but I had to take it in for repair and it took a while. I actually considered taking it to my local jeweler. Like I have a jeweler that I went to for my wedding band and he did an amazing job. And something that I knew, going for local jewelers or smaller brands, for example, like spiritual gloss, you will get more bang for your money. Like you will get bigger pieces, finer things for less amount of money because you're not paying for that massive brand that stands behind these pieces like Cartier and Van Cleef. However, there's things for everything. I like to do both. I'm not gonna come here and say like, no, I don't buy Van Cleef anymore because I've been thinking to getting the bracelet, the one that has the multiple motifs. So yeah, I'm guilty of that. I've also had on my wish list the Justin Clou for the longest time. So I try to do a bit of both, depends on the piece. There's pieces that I don't think that you can replicate that is not from the brand, but then there's pieces that are like this ring that if I had gone to Tiffany, I would have paid four times the price. My tennis bracelets, same thing. So I do feel like it depends on the piece that you're looking for. There's times where you can definitely save a lot of money and go for exactly what you want. Probably bigger, probably better from a local jeweler and support a smaller business or even like a family business instead of this massive corporations. But it's more of a matter of what you have been specifically looking for. Now thinking back on it, I also really wanted the Malachite. I didn't go for it because I was also scared. So honestly, my thoughts on this is taking care of your pieces is important, but I'm not gonna lose my mind over the fact that I got into the shower and it's not as shiny anymore. And I think that's when we lose a little bit of the fun when it comes to this and there are supposed to be pieces that you get to enjoy and use for a really long time. With my regrets and with my thoughts on them, I do feel like they're worth it. They're definitely more worth it than other pieces from jewelry houses out there. I still feel like they're classic enough and I know that many people are gonna say like, I see them a lot. They become so, so popular that I don't feel like they're as unique. They're classic for a reason. People love them for a reason. I really like them and I never base myself with what other people are wearing or not and more about what I like, what I wear and what works for my wardrobe. So that's also a point to give. Same with the love bracelet. Everyone is like, everyone has it. I don't want it anymore. It's a very comfortable piece. It's something that I don't have to think twice. I love the way that it looks. I love the way that it stacks with other things. And it's such a good classic and staple that even with the issues that I had, I still think that it's worth it. So resuming it a little bit, Onyx is 
perfect. My mother of pearl has seen better days, but it's my own fault. If I had them in other stones, I would definitely review them, but for now, I think I'm good like this. If I were to add another one, it would definitely be malachite. I think malachite and the ones that are like the guilloche, I think that's the name, the one that is like solid gold and has diamonds, I love that one. Would definitely consider it, but for now, I'm inclining to get other stuff first. So yeah, this is the video. I hope that it was helpful. If I forgot anything or you have any other questions that I just didn't talk about, leave it in the comment section down below and I'll get to it. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you're not to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll leave two videos right here in case you're not done watching. Thank you and see you on the next one. Bye!